In 2019, I watched a video about minimalism by Matt Diavella. You might be familiar with him. And even though the concept was fairly new to me, it just made so much sense. I had never before considered how those things that I just have laying around actually did cause some kind of stress. And it also made me realize how much stuff I had been collecting throughout the years and just kept in a box somewhere and brought with me from apartment to apartment and, and into different cities and different countries. I remember watching that video like it was yesterday because I watched it at work and when I was done I couldn't wait to get home and immediately go crazy and throw away half of my belongings. But it turned out to not be that simple. There were so many random objects and pieces of clothing that I hadn't used for the past five or six years, but that I still justified keeping because I thought that what if I in two years want to use this item, then I'm gonna be really disappointed that I threw it away. So it's not much, but I managed to collect two small uh, plastic bags that I proudly threw away. In the following week, I researched more of minimalism and watched other videos and felt like my perspective started maturing. And I kept on decluttering here and there and re-evaluated a lot of the same objects that I had kept only a few days earlier. It might have been around, let's say, 50 to 100 objects that didn't have too much sentimental value and were not particularly expensive and that I hadn't used the past five years. I just held on to them. But now after getting to think about this a bit more, I realized that if I haven't used it for the past five years, it's pretty likely that I'm not going to use it for the next five years and uh, maybe ever, and then what's the point of keeping them? And most of these things are not so unique that I can't replace them without breaking the bank. So I've become more strict on what I allowed to pass and what I just had to let go. If it made sense, I took pictures of things like birthday cards or travel memories and threw them away. It's usually not the object itself that is so special, but the relationship they remind you of and the memories they trigger. And I've learned now that looking at pictures of these things brings me like 99% of the same joy looking at the real object will. So it needs, to, it needs to go. Some things I could sell, something went to charity, like mostly clothes, and other things just was ready to get their lives ended. Rest in peace. Man, when you get into this, it really feels good getting rid of things. It can be difficult to get rid of things and we don't want to regret it. But if you do think rationally about it, yeah, what if you do regret throwing away something? Scenario one, you buy it back. That's not the end of the world. And if you threw it away to begin with, then chances are that it's not too expensive. And if it's something of sentimental value that you foresee sitting in the couch crying about in five years, then you shouldn't throw it away. And if you sold it, then in theory, you have the money to buy it back and you shouldn't feel bad about that. And spoiler alert, at no point have I ever regretted throwing away all this stuff. And I would much rather have one thing that I miss and throwing away 100 things instead of keeping everything and be safe that I made no mistakes. Just the fact of keeping something for a long time just makes it more difficult to get rid of, at least for me. I'd kept a boomerang that I bought on a holiday in Australia 14 years ago. And it absolutely f did not feel good throwing it away. Throwing it away. Boomerang. It did bring a smile to my face when I looked at it and uh, it triggered a lot of great memories. But now I just don't consider that a good enough reason to keep something. I mean, if I want to smile, then I can just put on one of my other like very funny videos. Now that's cringe. If I want to cringe. Yeah, but you get the point. <laughs> You know the feeling when you work on an assignment for school or you just work from home, like most of us do these days, and you just want to be interrupted, you just have no concentration? Chances are that when you go for a coffee break or you go to pet your cat and you see all those dirty plates laying around and whatever else, now you have the perfect excuse to extend the break and have a lot of things to be interrupted by. Yeah. I realized how much I appreciate something not being there. And this is something that I honestly did not think that I had in me. I thought of myself as a pretty messy person and that having mess in my surroundings 
did not bother me at all. But now with this new mindset, I've learned that having tons of things in my field of sight when working on the computer, for example, does make a really big difference when I am super concentrated. Yeah, yeah it's true, it's rare. I don't think that Mattia Vela's videos and all the other videos I watched about minimalism created a new version of me. I mean, that would be insane if they uh, managed to do that. But I think they were more like a catalyst that triggered something inherent. It definitely made me reconsider and recalibrate my relationship with the belongings I have. Yeah, it just made me realize how I actually can value not having something. Before I thought that if I can sell it, I'll sell it. But if I can't, then I'll keep it. But now I actually get more value out of getting rid of it. Contrary to a lot of minimalists as I perceive them, I'm not on a race to own as little as possible. I don't mind owning things and it's not about the number of objects. That's why I consider this way of going about it more minimal-ish. What's important for me is being more thoughtful, being more intentional about what my belongings does for me. And I think this ties perfectly into the concept of conscious spending that I have also made a video about. So if you found this video interesting, then I'm pretty sure that that video is also going to be up your, up your alley, up your alley, that you're going to like it. Yeah. Thank you for watching.